Hello my friends and welcome back to our continuing blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today, today there was an update to this game, and I ran into a problem. As you can see, I can't continue. I can't load game. When I hit cutting room floor, it says it requires a game save. There is a save game here, but the game doesn't access it. So when I go to new game and I choose sacrifice and I say save data, you can see my save data right here. It does exist. But for whatever reason, the game doesn't see that it exists. So I'm going to have to replay the game from the beginning. I'm going to try to keep all my choices the same. Really, the one that matters most, I guess, is the savior. And also the dialogue with Linda. Maybe our host has left something out for us. I hope you all having a what wonderful, do do, fantastic Sam? day today. Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Uh oh, obviously. I can open this, but it seems to have the transition icon up. So that makes me a little bit hesitant. Here's a book. So. Oh, the Epic of Gilgamesh. Oh. A bit of light bedtime reading. Tablet 5, the slaying of Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of forests, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him. Before the prominent god Enlil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us. Enlil is in Nippur. Shamash is in Sippar. Erect an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed Humbaba. I believe Shamash is the Babylonian god of justice, by the way. I'm not sure about Enlil. They tied together Raph, and Kidu steered it, while Gilgamesh had held the head of Humbaba. Read carefully, Norman. Study close what Enkidu tells Gilgamesh. He saw behind, beyond, Humbaba's pleas for clemency. Recognize sparing the demon would undo our hero's righteously won victory. That only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open a champion that shows will not open for a champion that shows restraint. Huh. So who is Norman? A book attempting to illustrate to Norman how acts of violence could be heroic. Hmm. Now, I was able to basically recreate everything precisely as before, except for, I think, two things. Those two things were, one, when I went in the sewers, uh, there was a police hat that I found. Although it didn't really do anything. And the second thing was, when I went to open the grate, I failed the mash X because I suck at mashing. And uh, the thing broke, and together, me and Tom lifted the uh, grate. I'll probably show that off in the failure run. Huh. Murder Movie Mill. Poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Dare you enter the murder, murder mill. mill? Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? I'm pretty sure Linda has. Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Well, I guess Stan Not has. the only one around here who's familiar with it. Oh, yep. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. Wait, what? No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. 
The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. <laughs> well, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. <laughs> hmm. What is that? Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. Our host's entrance. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. Mm. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Relaxed or reluctant? Oh, uh, let's go with relaxed. Sure. Yeah. I see. I'll just have whatever stands. I, I see no reason to distrust her. And you? No thanks. I don't feel like I she's gonna like drug you. us. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. No reason to be super paranoid right from the get-go. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. It's a glass. You okay? That's yeah. No, it's that's from our bedroom. Good. You know that Silent Hill sequence. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but. I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur. Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I... I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. 
I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. Hmm. Our host is very sure of herself. What's our end goal, though? Why'd she invite us here? We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. Wait, we the ruined? The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. Oh, I would call that dead. I had to find the right means to awaken him. That doesn't mean he didn't come back as like some sort of undead spirit or something, but yeah, he, he kind of died there. So something I did notice when I replayed the game is uh, when uh, Frank Stone reaches out, there's someone cloaked that he's it's reaching okay. towards. Do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> okay? There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Oh, square. Square, 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 square. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. My sister? All I have to do is betray my own sister. Wait, what? And you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Is this a horror movie? Oh, but it's take her to fight. I'd rather die. I'd rather die. Screw you. Go suck an egg. All those things. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. You go, Jamie. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. I think they're doing the worst. Yeah, my, now might be a good time to get the heck out. Oh my god. Amazing. Uh, you guys suck. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way. Because I feel like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Brad. Well, she's happy with us. How do we That's do, good. Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. I thought maybe it was like some sort of movie, but it was hard to tell. Um, no, actually. The lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! 
<laughs> I told you I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme <laughs> shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Uh, compliant, defensive. Linda, you gotta respect the director. Chris, I trust Linda's judgment. I like both of them. I'm gonna go defensive. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way, because I'm the director. <laughs> Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay. Sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle, and hold, and hold, and action. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the hat? Fuck, no! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Sam? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. So you're back in the 60s Sorry. now? How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you... Miss Castle and Miss Dixie, Miss Tammy D. Dixie, Miss Gordon, Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Project Reluctant. Uh. We don't get our last few shots we're really sorry i am going to go with reluctant now i i i should probably say this um on my first playthrough here i'm not necessarily going for what i think is ideally always the most positive outcome i'm doing what i feel the characters would most likely do in a situation so i may make choices that i feel are right even though they look wrong if that makes sense so we're going to be reluctant we don't get our last few shots. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. All right, then arrest us. What? Arrest us for trespassing. Calling his uh, bluff. Oh, Linda, come on. She's spicy. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously. Because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're gonna be doing any more filming today. Not with that. Dang it, he's right. He is so right. What the hell crawled up his ass? No, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? 
Oh, what else we can do? How to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. So I guess we're gonna be jumping back and forth in time. All wrapped out, sir. Now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Cedar Lakes, keep them hooked. I mean, it kind of reminds me of it. A Curiosity on Main Street. Cedar Hills, 1980. Okay, so this is a little bit beyond uh, the original. Because I think the game started in 1963? Dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal <laughs> deadline? Gothic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. Marta Mel. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Aww. Are you talking about Frank Stone? You're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Probing with the victim's puzzle. What do you think it was up to? Uh, that's a tough one. Let's go for... I I'm kind of split 50-50 on this, so left is always right. Let's go left. Probing. Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found 
parts. Excited? You know what this means? Frustrated. Why withhold us until now? Uh, she would be excited. Let's go. Let's continue left. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just got to make sure these last couple of scenes are going to blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Yeah, it's still a problem. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. Uh, hello. Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Oh, uh, hummy now. I like how they purposely said his name like five times just so you know it's not Jamie. <laughs> Jovial, howdy, partner. Empath empath empathetic. I could never say that word. Hey, okay. Uh, let's go empathetic. Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing. It's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, <laughs> I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing. We need a camera. We just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Casual, just 10 bucks. Nervous, 20 bucks to recover. Oh, that's tough. That is a tough one. Uh, let's go nervous. Who knows? Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Especially 1980. Seriously. We're trying to make this thing good. And good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm Sweet. in. Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Thanks, sis. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. <laughs> oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go at any time. 
Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Oh, they gave me a choice while going in. Uh, curiosity shop. Absolutely. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? <laughs> yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? <laughs> then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. I gotta look inside. And this curiosity uh, is good spot. Too sold. bad. So much for that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. You're not creepy at all. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please, come on inside. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't seem creepy at all. Come on, flight list. You just said there's no reason to be now, suspicious earlier. Let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... Look around while waiting for the shop. Or... Maybe this one? Oh, where did I put all the... Oh, this place is... Oh, it's this thing then. It's been following me across time and space. Whoa! What was that? Yo, there, there, there was a Fight Club thing going on there. Did you see that? What the heck was that? Is that a glitch or was that for real? Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Dear Mr. Olson, the letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Ned Nets. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by the month's end. My client also want to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement. After all, time is great healer, and perhaps one day you will find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectively, our striker. Um... So there's more written on here, but I don't think that's important because I'm pretty sure the thing on the right is what you need to read. The, the store recently passed the hands of the owner. Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. We'll find a way. Of course, locked doors everywhere. Ooh, look at this. Uh, I don't, nothing's like popping out. 
I did see there was like something on the uh, the the shelf here. No. Maybe it's on the other side. I know I saw something. Oh, cute bunny. I don't think that bunny was supposed to be cute. Is that a uh, killer reference? Like I said, really need you guys to help me out in the uh, comment section to understand all the all the Easter eggs and stuff. Nothing spoilerific, just the Easter eggs. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Now, heck, you could try to, you know, guide me in other ways in uh, in future playthroughs. What the heck is this? Looks like a. I think it's creepy as heck. Okay. Did we cross over with the watchman? Comedian just lying around here. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Is this supposed to be a ring reference? What are we watching? What the heck is this? I see something on the other side. There's something back here. And by the way, I don't know if I said this before, but I've been really ill for about a week. So if my voice sounds weird, that's why. I do apologize for that, but I really want to play this game because, I mean, it's super massive. It's Dead by Daylight. I I've been ex waiting so long for a uh, super massive game. I'm I'm absolutely going to play this. <laughs> the Trapper. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. The smiling successor of the Macmillan Estate. That's freaky and also a little bit cool. I I will say that's kind of cool. Only Supermassive could do a, a collab with uh, Silent Hill. I mean, they already got all the locked doors and stuff, so it shouldn't be too hard to do. But seriously, that would be so awesome. Okay, is there anything else here? I still feel bad about going through that door and not checking the upstairs area. Shh, quiet. Shh, quiet. Okay. Okay, uh, Jaime is, uh... Don't make, Don't make a sound. What's wrong with Jaime? Okay, so, yeah. We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Is that it? Oh, I thought it would be more than that. All right. I I think I've gone through all of this. Oh, and there's also alternate costumes in this game. So on the second playthrough, Surely I was thinking of something that can help us amongst the putting those junk. on. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. <laughs> and you're like so bummed out. <laughs> you're in luck. 
A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. The great like a holy light just shined on it. And you heard oh It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. She's haggling. See mm -hmm. this? Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? It's going to be $10. 20 bucks. See, I, I thought what would happen is the game would give you a choice to say either it would be $10 and you could say, um, or it, it, it would be $20 like it is. And the game would say, uh, do you wish to say it's $20 or $10? So you basically like flat out lie to the woman. I want to be appreciative because we do have $20. So for me, it all feels like it works pretty well. The stars are aligning. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks I mean, we do have $20, dollars, so... Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Creepy. Very creepy. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Oh, something here. Buy milk. Where is it? It's over there. Let's get that first. Waterlogged shoe. Four names, four trials. She tells me not to rush. I thought about not using this item on my first playthrough after last episode. I decided to just keep using it because, I mean, collectibles don't hurt. Like, I really don't feel like it hurts to gather them. Best First left fairy. Movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. The Dark Mythology of the Lost Movie by Joe Blue. There are those films that have been lost over time, which in their absence had developed an aura of mystery. Those lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike. Not because they wish to marvel at the performance of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they could cobble together that they're making a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera. Long lineage of lost movies. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Bunch of posters. So we have the sound is something and like note cards everywhere, uh, postage cards everywhere. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Light. Our movie is going to be the last record of the mill. Lightbringer Estate. Cedar Hills renew renewal enters new phase. Move fast to secure a place today. Lightbring Estates have announced the next stage in the transformation of Cedar Hills with new homes planned on the land around the site of the former Cedar Steel Mill. Exploratory visits to the old Cedar Hill site by Lightbringer's expert teams of engineers and architects have already commenced. Ahead of demolition scheduled for later this year and construction beginning in early 81. It's behind you. <laughs> I wonder if it says castle on that. 
Uh, no, it does not. Uh, cage lips. Fell into the fear trap. One sip and you're hooked. Map. Alright. I don't want to press the bell yet. So I, I'm pretty certain I would have found that item. Because, I mean, I'm looking around. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Alberto firecrackers. Pull them, they go bang. I wonder if I didn't... I wonder if I would have haggled with her if I would have had enough money to, like, you know, buy extra stuff. But I still feel good about my choice. I mean, I don't want to haggle an old shopkeeper down. Not when we had the money. Seems kind of wrong. We have money for the milk. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. Really? Missing kids? Missing Benny Baker. Uh, 24480 from Garfield. Brown hair, brown eyes, 4.6 inches, 65 pounds. If you can identify this person, this missing person, please call Cedar Hill Sheriff Department missing person. 364-555-0142. So kids are going missing again. About, what, almost 20 years later? Kind of does feel like it in a way. Fear trap. Like, shooting is weird. Oh, it's asteroids. Not asteroids, um, space evaders. Space evaders, that's it. Fun fact about the original space evaders, um, you actually make the game harder the more successful you are. Because the way the game played is it, it would come at you really slowly to start. And the reason it would come at you really slowly is because uh, the, the graphical engine. Uh, it can only handle a certain amount of things on the screen at once. And the more things that you kill, the, the faster they go down. Which means you make the game harder by being good. It's probably the first game ever to have a scaling difficulty in a way. I guess you could call it. Sweet. Good old space evaders. Ha ha ha. Pardon me, kind of wishes these things didn't exist here. Actually blocking my bullets more than anything else. They don't seem to be coming down though. They like go down to a certain height and then they just fire at me. Uh, should I just put a cut here and come back when something interesting happens. Because this is a fine let's play of Cassia Fake Stone, not necessarily Space Invaders. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, I'll put a cut here. Or maybe I'll just like fast forward uh, the footage. And I will talk to you all when I get done playing this game. <laughs> Whoa! All right, well, shortly after I uh, I said that, I lost. Now, I could sit here for a while and try to play over and over to see if it has any rewards. I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe that's like a redemption run thing. Well, I'll just sit here and play that game for a while and, you know, try to try to get something out of it. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> 
Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Samsung, right? I never saw you come in. Because he mentioned him. spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. <laughs> All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. 25 cents for milk. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today. But we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Uh, probably shouldn't have said that. Of course, he had to walk in that, right at that moment. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Oh, good. He didn't hear. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. God, Chris looks so beautiful in that light. I, I love cyan hair, greenish cyanic hair. It's so pretty. And the way the light shines on it, it's just amazing. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Provocative, they told me about Frank Stone, Defiant. We're still going to finish our movie. Ah, uh, uh, I mean, she's got spice to her. Uh, let's go with Provocative. Because Undertaker has just, well, I mean, eh, first instinct. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Got to be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. I like the characters so far. All of them. Hey, hey, hey. Except maybe I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. I, I don't know Just if I'm... Just word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I, I don't know enough about him yet. But I like the other characters so far. I mean, Stan just hasn't had a chance to have a spotlight yet, I guess. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned. Over the centuries? Professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me. Allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Wait, she's a shopkeeper? What? What? Okay, 
That's my first WTF moment. Chapter 4, these walls have eyes. Grant Manor 2024. Almost looks like Eternal Darkness now. That shot of the manor. It, it almost looks exactly like Eternal Darkness. Oh, Linda now. Compassionate or probing? Yeah, definitely compassionate. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made linda if they're not fakes yeah mine's not fake and all that stuff you said about it being cursed murderous rages cia interrogation total disassociation with reality because it's so rare only a few people know for sure so is there if augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Yeah, well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> Commanding, what are you waiting for? Dismissive. I'm good here. Ah. <sighs> Uh, first instinct is I'm 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 torn on this one. L let's just go with it. Uh left is always right. What are you waiting for? Yeah, that does seem to suit her personality. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Now, this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. <laughs> I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Uh, curious or suspicious? Uh, suspicious. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? Yeah. When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found, and... The further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, it, in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. 
Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I... I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Alright, although I will say this is a great time to go ahead and stop. Uh, we'll look at our collection here. It looks like we missed one. And I bet you anything, the one I missed is in the upstairs area of the mansion. Because I didn't explore that spot. So, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, the Trapper. Young Evan spent his whole life striving to prove himself a worthy successor to the Macmillan estate. But the trappings of expectation saw him tumble down the same dark path as his father. Now he roams with a smile that never falters, certain his newfound purpose making old Archie proud. Be careful where you tread, for each step could be your last. I, I do intend to try to get all the collectibles on our redemption run. So, yeah, th that'll be for that time. A, a letter confirming the recent sale of the Curiosity Store. Poor Mr. Wilson. Would he ever have sold up if not for his terrible luck? Staff file. Okay, these are the things I've read already. Uh, Epic of Gilgamesh. An annotated copy of the Epic Gilgamesh, an ancient Babylonian legend. From the notes, it is clear somebody wanted Norman to take a deeper meaning for the story. Perhaps they felt he needed to broaden his horizons. I, I'm still getting used to the menu, sorry. Murder Mill. A movie poster, Murder Mill. Tagline seems a bit corny, but there's something unnerving about that setting. Yeah, that's the, uh... That is the, uh, the still mill, isn't it? Lost Movie Magazine. A magazine article focused on the history of lost movies. How many of these conspiracies have, give, have even the slightest grain of truth? Robert Green, Christine Gordon. Uh, is it, uh, aren't two of the characters named Robert and Chris, Chris? You know, Robert was Sam's, uh, son and Chris was the girl with the, uh, the hair. So they made this movie. So they made the movie that were, that she's trying to put together. Is that it? Starting to understand more of the um more of the lore here. I'm not gonna click on the fate button until after we play through the game because I feel seeing branches could be spoilers. So I'm gonna hold off on the fate until the end of the game and then we'll check that out. Unless you could tell me in the comment section below that no Flightless Bird, the, the plate section is completely fine. But for now, my dear friends, my name is The Flightless Bird. This is your story-based gaming channel. I'll continue playing Let's Play of the casting of Frank Stone in the world of Dead by Daylight. Or a story in the world of Dead by Daylight. Whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> I hope we all have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I will talk to you again very soon. Until then, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.